Did Jesus promise a condemned man, that thief, that he would go to heaven? That's the topic of this video. At Luke chapter 23, beginning at verse 42 through 43, a condemned man, condemned by the Roman authority, said this, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, truly I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. Now, I watched a video the other day where there were individuals, these rather Christians, we're talking Christian preachers in heated and angry uh, debate going back and forth about this topic. And I'm thinking to myself, neither of those individuals apparently don't know Christ and know his teachings. They get locked into believing that they're going to heaven. And they don't think about this entire scenario. So hopefully this video will help you reason this out for yourself. I'm not saying agree with me, but reason things out for yourself. First of all, take a close look at Luke chapter 23, verse 42 and 43. The assumption here is that Jesus is telling that man that on that day, at that moment when he dies, he's going to heaven. Yet, we don't even see the expression heaven used here because this man says to Jesus, remember, keyword, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He didn't say God's kingdom. He said your kingdom. And then Jesus says, truly, I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. Now, here's the problem. There is a comma that was displaced in Luke chapter 23 verse 43 so let's read it twice truly i tell you comma today you will be with me in paradise so yes if one reads that in that way it would appear as if jesus is telling that man that on that day on the very that very day that he dies he's going to be with jesus in heaven and again the assumption is that paradise is heaven yet that's not the man said to Jesus, he says, when you come into your kingdom. Now, let's move that comma. Let's repeat Luke chapter 23, verse 43. Truly, I tell you today, comma, you'll be with me in paradise. See how it changes the meaning? Truly, I tell you today, comma, you'll be with me in paradise. So Jesus was not telling that man that at the moment of his death, on that day, he would be with him in heaven. And again, the assumption paradise is heaven. No, that would not be possible because Jesus would spend three days in his grave. And then thereafter, when he was resurrected, he spent some 50 days appearing before his disciples and then he ascended. So at a minimum, Jesus spent 53 days still down here on the earth three days in his grave and some 50 days when he was resurrected, still on the earth, and then he ascended. So there's no way that that thief, that condemned man, would have preceded Jesus to be with him in paradise or in heaven, as many think, on that day. What Jesus was telling that man was, truly I tell you right now, one day you will be with me in paradise. And again, what did that condemned man say to Jesus? Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Not God's kingdom, but your kingdom. You see, Jesus will have a 1,000 year kingdom over the earth in the future. That kingdom has not arrived yet because all the nations are still here. When Jesus' kingdom over the earth begins, all of the nations of the world today will be a thing of the past. They'll all be gone, destroyed. Jesus is not going to share rulership over the earth with these existing kingdoms, these world powers. They have to go. Paradise is not heaven. The paradise Jesus was referring to will be 
like I just mentioned, the one that will exist on the earth in the future, that is his 1,000 year kingdom over earth. And into that kingdom, all of the dead will be resurrected into it. So Jesus was telling that man, I will remember you in the resurrection. The promised resurrection can be found at John chapter 5, verse 28 and 29. Christianity seems to bypass all of that. Christianity bypasses the resurrection hope. That condemned man asked Jesus to remember him. Remember? That would imply what? Something yet to come. There is no way that that condemned man would have been with Jesus in paradise because Jesus would not ascend for some 50 days. Three days he had spent in the grave and thereafter, when he was resurrected, spent some 50 days on the earth with his disciples. Remember Doubting Thomas? And this is something that many miss. And those two preachers that I mentioned earlier, I watch them and, I, and I'm just thinking, what's wrong with them? It's almost as if they would rather fight and argue out of pride, you're wrong, I'm right, rather than listening to what Jesus himself says about this. And it's clear, it's logical. How could that man have gone to heaven on the, that day when Jesus himself didn't go to heaven on that day? He went into his grave for three days, then resurrected, and then appearing before his disciples for some 50 days, and then his sent to heaven. So that man to this day is buried and in his grave on the earth, asleep in death, like the billions in earth's history who have died and have been buried, awaiting to be resurrected. No human being is in heaven. No human being has gone into heaven. Jesus teaches, not me, I'm just a student. Jesus teaches that John chapter 3, verse 13. Christians, please pay attention to this. That no one has ascended into heaven except the one who came down from heaven. Did any of you come down from heaven? No. We, human beings, we came up from the earth, formed from the dust of the ground. And when we die, we go back in to the earth. It is interesting that at Acts chapter 2 verse 34 that we read that even King David did not go to heaven. So where is King David? Like that condemned man in Jesus' day, King David is in his grave here on the earth. Moses, Noah, Adam, all of the prophets, the apostles are in their graves awaiting the promised resurrection. So to debate, did that condemned man go to heaven? No, he did not. So if one dies, assuming that you are a follower of Christ, that you believe that you're going to heaven, that's a lie. Jesus never taught that. Jesus taught the contrary. I just gave you Jesus' words at John chapter 3, verse 13. Many are not listening. They're listening to these preachers like those two preachers I mentioned a few moments ago. People sit back and they listen to them. They don't listen to Christ. They're saying you're going to heaven if you accept Jesus. Jesus says, I never told anyone that they're going to heaven. And if you look at Luke chapter 23, verse 43, look at that comma. If you move that comma, it changes the entire meaning of what Jesus said to that condemned man, does it not? And then follow the logic that I just gave you. This is R. Jerome Harris, the disciple. Thank you for listening.